Hello everyone, once again, my name is the Awesomedus. Today we're going to be doing another SCP reading on SCP-1121, The Skinning Disease. So let's get started. Item number SCP-1121, Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. Only two specimens have been collected of SCP-1121, both at initial containment. These are kept in one of Biological Research Site 13's refrigerated biohazard containment cells in a freezing medium composed of 12% dimethyl sulfoxide, 20% heat inactivated calf serum, and an axonic medium at native 70 degrees Celsius. Cultures of SCP-1121-1 are kept in a glycerol stock under identical temperatures in a separate refrigerated biohazard containment cell. Due to the rarity of SCP-1121 samples, tests are to use SCP-1121 cultures instead. Testing is to be authorized and conducted by at least one level 4 member of, of on-site research staff. All personnel not designated a test subject to wear level A hazmat suits with SCB, SCBA before handling any cultures of SCP-1121-1. Failure to do so will result in termination and subsequently incineration. Should infections with SCP-1121-1 be reported outside of Foundation control, a quarantine is to be instated with a 10 km radius of the established epicenter. All victims not yet deceased are to be terminated followed by controlled incineration of all bodies. Seemingly uninfected civilians and personnel within the quarantine zone will be detained and monitored. If they develop no symptoms after 24 hours, they are to be administered Class A amnesiacs and relocated. Any individuals that do develop symptoms within that time period are to be terminated and incinerated. A suitable cover story will be circulated to the media. Description: SCP-1121 is a previously unknown am amoebic protozoa with very specific mutagenic qualities triggered only by Staphylococcus epidermis, epidermis, a normally benign bacterium present on human skin. If introduced to other organisms, SCP-1121 remains dormant. DNA extracted from samples of SCP-1121 shares genes with several insect species, such as Aphrocymix constrictus, Grylotalpa brachytera, I'm terrible at reading Latin, and Dora aculeatum, while also containing several genes not currently found in known flora or fauna. SCP-1121 does not seem to procreate naturally and does not need fluid to survive. Once introduced to S. epidermis, SCP-1121 mutates all instances of the bacteria into SCP-1121-1, classified as Staphylococcus epidermis excitabilis before dying. At this point, a subject is considered infected and will start to show stage 1 symptoms as detailed below. Note that, while S. epidermis does not normally cause infection in healthy human beings, the SCP-1121-1 pathogen infects 100% of, in of subjects exposed to it. SCP-1121 dies off after creating SCP-1121-1. SCP-1121-1 have proven resistant to all known antibiotics and at this time, no known cure for infections with Staphylococcus epidermis exitalibus exists. A subject infected with SCP-1121-1 goes through a set number of stages. Stage 1. Two to five hours after initial infection, small white lesions appear on the skin. This does not differ from an infection by S. epidermis, making wrong diagnosis a distinct possibility. Stage 2. Approximately 23, 24 hours after the onset stage of uh, stage 1, the lesions will gradually begin to disappear, the infection having spread to the lower layers of the patient's skin. SCP-1121-1 then consumes the subcutaneous tissue, transforming into a highly vicious substance. This process is extremely painful. The sufferer's skin is at this point connected to underlying tissues only by the substance excreted by SCP-1121-1. In addition, it turns pale and slouches in areas of if the patient has rapidly lost weight. Stage three. Patients begin 
patients begin removing their skin from their body. Most sufferers use their own hands for skinning, though in some cases patients reported resorted to using various tools, including knives, windshielding scrapers, and in one case, a redacted. This process, this process can, seems to be painless due to the events of stage 2. It does not seem to be a conscious activity. The anomalous substance underneath the skin is exposed to air, a gradually data expunged commonly found on insects. Vi victims rapidly become disoriented and invariably hostile to anyone who, not infected by SCP-1121-1 as the process of skin removal progresses. In light of this, Termination of all victims is necessary, preferably during before the e disease enters stage three. No occurrences of SCP-1121 uh, have been observed outside of initial containment, but the bacterium replicates itself rapidly during stages one and two. Infection of new patients occurs primarily by skin-to-skin -skin contact, through ev though evidence exists of infection spreading in situations where no direct contact was observed, making level A hazmat suits equipment a precautionary must when handling any samples of SCP-1121-1. Furthermore, SCP-1121-1 has been observed to remain active long after stage 3 has concluded, with samples of skin showing active cultures on, of the mutated bacteria for up to blank years after initial infection. It is currently unknown during what period of time removed skin remains an infection hazard. Adenum 11-1-A-01 Recovery and Preliminary Containment Notes SCP-1121 was, was discovered on a meteorite unearthed during an ar un archaeological dig in blank, New Mexico in blank, in 19 blank. The archaeologist first, ex uh, first exposed to the meteorite was infected with SCP-1121-1 and is at this point considered to be patient zero. Within two days, the, the infection had spread from patient zero to the entire on-site research team in several instances of blank. National containment was managed by the CDC, but after patient zero entered stage three of the disease, operatives within that agency brought in the foundation. The meteorite and patient zero were transferred to biological research site 13, and in all in a 10 kilometer radius around the dig site was cleared using MK MK77 bombs. The only known colonies of SCP-1121 were covered from the meteorite. Mass spectrometer analysis using rubidium strontium dating of samples determined its age to be approximately two. Uh, that's a big number. Uh, two billion five hundred five hundred million two hundred thousand years. Addendum eleven twenty one dash a dash o two. Excerpts from testing log eleven twenty one dash t. Test designation 1121 T 01. Name personnel ID Dr. Blank. Test subject D773345. Transcript 02 blank 19 blank 2034. D7733345 was placed in an artificial coma and SCP 1121 1 was introduced to his skin. 2317. Stage 1 symptoms said and with lesions appearing to spread evenly across the subject's body. Lesions seem to be radiating out from the le left outer thigh, where SCP-1121 was applied to the subject's skin. 20 2248. Subject still in coma. Lesions have started to disappear and subject's skin has been observed to be undulating slightly. 317. Undulation seems to have stopped. Skin seems pale, but subject's vital signs are still good. Subject's brought out of artificial coma. Once D seven three three four five was you slid enough for a conversation, Doctor Blank initiates contact over the intercom. Doctor Plank. D seven three three four five. How are you feeling? Fine, I guess. I look pale. Subject grunts. Anything you'd like to share with us? Not really. Look, Doc. How much longer am I going to be here? Just a little while longer, D seven three three four five. We need to observe your behavior. My behavior? What the hell's wrong with my behavior? Nothing's wrong with my behavior. We just are gone damn right. Nothing's wrong with my behavior. No need for hostility, D seven three three four five. I'm just here to learn from you. Research assistant, doctor, doctor. I'm not sure I can stand this. D seven three three four five. You can't stand what, asshole? Research assistant. 
blank leaves room, leaves the control room. My assistant had to excuse himself. It seems he's disturbed by your activity since he woke up. D seven three three four five. What the fuck is wrong with you, dicks? I've been just sitting. I've just been sitting here. Doctor Blank, tearing long strips of your skin off your left leg. Yes, I know. D seven three three four five was observed without comment for approximately one hour and thirty two minutes until he'd removed all skin from his body and had become highly erratic and volatile. Subject terminated and incinerated as per protocol. Test designation eleven twenty one dash T dash O five. Name personal ID Dr. Blank. Test subjects D fourteen fourteen five hundred twenty three and a whole bunch of other guys like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve uh, subjects in total. Tramps were ipped twenty one blank, nineteen blank, fifteen, thirteen. Subjects were placed in an artificial comb and an SCP eleven twenty one dash one was introduced to their skin. 1658. Stage 1 symptoms set in on D49234. Other subjects follow. 1744. Last subjects begin to show stage 1 symptoms. 1856. First subject enters stage, stage 2. Others follow more rapidly than during stage 1. 0001. Last subject enters stage 3. Subjects brought out of artificial coma and observed. 013. 0013. Subjects begin removing skin while talking amongst themselves. Conversation soon becomes increasingly erratic as subjects remove more skin from their bodies. No hostility towards other test subjects noted. 334. Subjects are now entirely skinless. The unknown substance hidden beneath their epidermis seems to be a data expunged, milling around like redacted. We'll need to study this behavior further. Subjects terminated and incinerated as per protocol. Then I'm 1121-A-03. You know what you like when you were a kid? You dig out the ants nests and step on the biggest one just to see them all run around like little maniacs? They reminded me of that, the way they just stumbled around flailing. Research assistant blank. I don't admit 1121-A-04. After 1121-T-5, it's been theorized that SCP-1121 could be part of a terraforming experiment. If that is the case, one is left to wonder just what it was to supposed to turn us into. If it's even us they were after. Dr. Blank. Footnotes. Self-contained breathing apparatus. Wow, this was a long one. Um, obviously, SCP-1121 is some sort of biological uh, um, disease that attacks only humans and enters three different stages. At stage three, they begin to start peeling off their skin. Just really, just nasty. Um, obviously, Dr. Blank is theorizing that this is part of a uh, disease that was originally much bigger than it really is. But what it what was he doesn't know what it really originally was. So what was it originally, and was it supposed to? What was it gonna? What would it be like if it was in its original state, and what would it do to us? That's really the question. So this is obviously a very dangerous SCP. Fortunately, there's only uh, two uh, uh, 1121s, but a whole bunch of 1121-1s. So. That's to be of concerning. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Check out any other SCP readings that I've done. And I will see all of you next time in the next video of whatever I'm doing. So goodbye, everyone.